Good morning, folks. Helio viewers lagging a bit this morning, but the SDO site is updated and looking sharp. Another pop leaves the sun after departing the Earth-facing position here. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com and first find the sun in 193 angstroms. Ejecta events left and right at the limbs, but nada coming at our planet. Over in 304 angstroms, it is easy to see the plasma dancing over those limbs, but also the central filament on the disk presenting the primary eruption threat. Zoomed in, it's that line amidst the brighter area. Thus far, it has remained stable, and in 94 angstroms, where X-rays love to shine, we see nothing in terms of significant flaring. And in fact, when we come to the X-ray solar flaring charts, we see the Earth-facing quiet effect remain dominant for another day. And this is as multiple active regions turn towards center disk. We lack major umbral size across the board, but we are seeing many umbras within the sets themselves. Got population with magnetic spread up north, while the red negative umbra at the right of the southern group officially gives that one a gamma class magnetism. Solar wind offered yet another coronal shockwave as a density bump is followed by yet another rise in yellow speed. Thus far, the KP index only shows instability, but we could see more this evening. Coronal holes up north, still coming in. Quakes took the day off after rocking the coast of Mexico the day before. Hello up there, big guy. Got any more IMF changes coming our way? Let's jump to our top news. First, we have a paper out on planetary formation, why wildly different solar system formations are unlikely, and also why we're indeed likely to find planets around most stars. Subdisk concentrations, water sublimation, clay mixtures, planets. We also have an interesting article based on simulations of Sagittarius A. Although many of our viewers here would love an electric tweak to the black hole discussions, we can still gain a lot from this article including the enormous influence of the magnetic fields. Close enough, I suppose. Folks, we have our second, you gotta be joking, climate event in South America. Image comparison coming, and before we do the reveal, you just know what I'm going to show you. Second biggest lake in the country of Bolivia is gone. This is probably the most preposterous thing to happen to South America since October when seven years of rain fell on the Atacama Desert, the driest place in the world. Other top stories include a snowstorm in Israel to complement those across the Middle East this week, and of course, Jonas is pounding the east right now. Event is ongoing. Today is Saturday, so website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Under premium, then under fly on the wall, we will have this week's podcast uploaded for you in just a few hours. Meanwhile, we're also gearing up for part two of Observing the Frontier, just a week away here in Phoenix at the end of January, the 30th and 31st. Last chance to grab tickets, guys. We're down to the wire. We've got the pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, a couple current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.